To begin using the FIS-007U, start by installing the Healthmark Scope Viewer software. Please note, the software is compatible with Windows 10. To start, insert the USB flash drive into your computer. Then you're going to double click on the Healthmark Scope Viewer installer package to begin installation. Then you're going to click on Next when the Welcome to Healthmark Scope Viewer Setup Wizard screen pops up. Next, click on the first tab, Typical, or Setup, type of your choice, and click Next. Next, you're going to click Install and wait for the installation to complete. Then you're going to click on Finish, and now the software is installed. To start using the Flexible Inspection Scope, click on the Healthmark Scope Viewer software. And then you're going to connect the small end of the USB cord into the control module, then the larger end of the cord into your PC. Then you're going to plug the flexible inspection scope into the control module. Then we're going to click on settings. Then we're going to click on USB video device. Click on resolution. And then for video output format, we're going to click on the down arrow key. And you're going to click on the preferred video output format and then click on OK. Now you're ready to use your scope. Now we can start to capture still pictures. We have our flexible inspection scope inserted into a section. So click on capture image and to the left you'll see in red it said image captured. The image we just captured will be saved in the file location shown in this box. To change the location click on file location button and select the location of your choice and click on select folder. To capture videos, click on Capture Video. Once you're finished recording, click Stop Capture. Again, the video you just recorded will be saved in the file location here. To capture a reference image, click the Capture button. The photo you captured will be displayed in the reference image window. The photo will also be saved to a reference images folder located here. To clear the image, click the Clear button. To display a reference image captured previously, click the Open Reference Image button and then select an image to display. And then click on OK. You also have the option to add a file prefix to the file names of your captured images, videos, and reference images. To do so, type the file prefix of your choice in this box. Now, this text will be added to the file names of all captured images, videos, and reference images as long as it is shown in this box.